Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World here in Florida, United States of America, at a crossroads. That's right. Which way to go in life? Which is the best option? Which is the best road? Lots going on at an intersection, at a crossroads. A lot of decisions to be made. A lot of action happening. Stopping, going, ideas, thoughts, movements. So how do we know what is the best option? How do we move forward in life? Choosing the best options. Do you move forward in life following the road that stems from your heart or from your head? Do you listen to the angel, love? Or do you listen to the devil, let's say, fear? If anything was possible, ask yourself this, what would you be doing? Would you stay in that relationship or would you move forward? Would you get out of it? Would you take that new job? Would you quit that job? What would you do? The answer lies within your heart. If you look at pictures of Jesus sometimes, the heart will be lit up. He'll be pointing to his heart. Why? I always say, source, God, is connected and plugged into our heart space. That's where the answers lie for our higher self. We humans are plugged into our head space. The fear, the doubt, the worry, not trusting. So moving forward at my crossroads, I had an opportunity here in Florida. Very tempting, like the apple in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. Very tempting, why? Security, money, the known. How much money's coming in? What I need to move forward on my journey here in the world with ancient healings around the world? But what was my heart saying? What was my path? What was my vision? What was my dream? To continue and embark in the world as I continue to teach and heal groups, individuals, over the phone, through YouTube, meditation centers. That was my vision. That was my goal. Just because I was robbed back in Cambodia many months ago, am I going to give up? Reset, reboot. Came back, America, picked up all the pieces, and guess what? I might have got down to the money in my bank account where it said, nope, it's time to cash in. It's time for that security. It's time to take this opportunity here in Florida. Very tempting. But I didn't. And instead, I'm going to move forward. That's right. When I thought I was going to cash in all my tokens and say, I guess I'm done. Instead, I'm following the exhilarating energy that comes from my heart space. My heart is saying, move forward, Sherry. Continue your journeys in the world. Why? Because as I was traveling in the world, guess what? What was provided so I could keep traveling, keep doing my work? Well, money, because Earth is run by paper money. So I'm gonna move forward from my heart space, following the path that's coming from my heart. My head was saying, are you crazy? Take this stable, concrete job, market, do my work at the meditation centers, teach and heal out here. That's what the head was saying. But my heart was saying, heck no, keep going. You're not finished. It wasn't gonna stop me at Anchor Watt. I might've got, I don't wanna say derailed, but I might've been brought back Reset, reboot, recharge here in America. And now I'm moving forward. Following the path that comes from my heart. Moving forward. Guess what? When you move forward in these spaces, you have to go through the gates of fear. What do I mean by that? Well, when you start your own company, let's say, you're living in a space where, let's say, you used to work for a company and you knew what was coming in. And then all of a sudden, you're not going to know what's coming in. I took those risks too. Any entrepreneur takes those risks. If you don't take risks, guess what? You don't have change. You're not moving forward in the direction of your dreams because your head keeps on talking you out of it, doesn't it? Are you listening to the angel or the devil? Are you listening to the energy of love and light? Or are you listening to the energy of fear? What beats inside your vibration both? That's right. I'm no different. But I said, no, I'm going to continue my path. Talking the talk, walking the walk. 
practicing what I preach, what I teach, and clearing all blockages, thoughts, feelings, emotions, worries, concerns, and fears, all of that within me, outside of me, energy coming from other people, all of that, behind that, behind that, behind that, I delete, uncreate, destroy through all time, space, dimensions, and realities. You say it too. All thoughts, feelings, emotions, beliefs, old experiences, old energy. Dissolving, cleansing, and clearing. And staying in meditation on a daily basis, 15 to 20 minutes every morning. Talking the talk, walking the walk. I thought I was going to cash in all my tokens, but I'm not. I'm moving forward. Moving forward and embarking back into the world. Why? The money came. The money was provided. Whether as the meditation centers, the people I worked with, I do a lot of work over the phone, in person from country to country, but mostly also through YouTube. Teaching and healing people. Give a man to fish, they eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, well, you eat for a lifetime teaching people, living through example, through my journeys. As I move forward on my sojourn number two, only number two because, well, I came back to America to reset, regroup, redirect, recharge, and now I'm ready to continue forward. And I'm just going to be going by faith. As did many other people here who take big risks, who become very famous and big. That's not my mission. My mission is to create these ancient and sacred healing grounds all throughout the world. Ancient healings around the world. Hubs. Just like we have churches. That's right. I want meditation hubs all around, along with healing rooms. That is the mission. The other vision is the Promised Land. You can check that out on YouTube also, if you haven't before. The Promised Land, comma, my name's Sherry. You'll see the vision, the dream, the direction. At least mine. You don't have to. I'm just letting you know that that's what's out there. So I'm moving forward on my crossroads, and I'm following the path that's coming from my heart, not my head. My head said to stay here, generate more money, market, regroup, build up. But my heart was saying, get going, get back out there. The money will come. Do not worry. Do not stress. What you worry about, you bring about right? Too blessed to be stressed. Moving forward from your heart space. Making a decision that feels exhilarating, high vibrational, happy and exciting. Is it scary? Yes. Why? Because you have to be in a space of complete surrender, of complete trust, of complete taking action, staying focused, staying grounded, connected in. Source is connected here at the heart. We are connected here. We say no. Other people will downplay what we're supposed to be doing. Don't listen to other people. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your truth that resides within the heart. Giving you an example, Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, Rocky one, two, three, four, and five. He was broke. He pitched his idea in the beginning. His wife was pregnant. He was offered $350,000 for the, the movie script that he wrote. But he wanted to be in the movie. And they say no. So he walked away from the $350,000 when he needed the most. When I had that opportunity, the apple was before me. Security, money, the known. I walked away from it. It wasn't what I envisioned. It wasn't my dream. It wasn't in my script. It wasn't in the next chapter. The next chapter was take off, trust and allow and follow and the money will come. He walked away from that offer and he pitched it again and again. And finally, somebody picked it up and said, yes, you could be the star, you can be Rocky. And five Rockies later, and millions and millions and millions of dollars because he didn't sell himself short. He listened to what was inside, his truth, what he wanted. You see, you have to know what you want first. You have to have the vision, the clarity. Tuning in, tapping in. When you're operating from a space of fear, well, you're not gonna be 100% happy. So don't sell yourself short. Listening to what's inside, following the path that comes from your heart, not your head. 
listening to the angels and the light and the love, not the fear, the doubt, the worry. Every time that shows up, acknowledge it, don't resist it, feel it, own it, know it, and then you just see it dissolving, dissipating, deleting out of your energy, and you redirect and you refocus to the light at the end of your tunnel, and knowing what that light is at the end of the tunnel, knowing what you want to create, and then taking the actions that are going to get you to the end of the tunnel. We don't get anywhere unless we take our two legs and walk, unless we take our pen and start writing and doing something about it. Know what you want to do. Follow your heart. And you will forever be walking down the path that leads to your happiness. Listen to what's inside. If anything is possible, what would you be doing right now? I encourage people to meditate on a daily basis. As I always say, God is tuned into your heart. We are tuned into here. Meditation is when we listen, and prayer is when we talk. Signing out, that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World here in Florida, the United States of America. Peace.